Hello everyone, this is Paranite speaking, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Skills Modding API. Okay, now how you initialize a new skill is basically the same way as you would do for an item. Only instead of saying item, you'd say skill, and instead of using a class that extends item, you'd use a class that extends skill. Um, now there's a couple of things you need to know about this. First of all, the parameters of a new skill. Here's a basic um, uh, basic skill class, a skill I called Creeper Blast, and um, the way it works is when I create a new instance, uh, I need to put in a couple of parameters. The first being the ID. Now chairs IDs with items, so you'd have to be careful there. The reason I did that is because that way I don't need to edit the source code as much, and that that way it's more stable. So first one being the ID, second one being the amount of energy you want this skill to expend, if any at all. Um, the third being the charge up time, zero if you don't want it to charge up at all. The fourth being the cooldown time, also zero if you don't want it to cool down after you've used the skill. And the last one is press and hold. So if it's a press and hold skill, you press the hotkey and you keep holding, and it runs this repeatedly. If it's not, if this is false, then you press the button once and it does whatever it is it does, and it won't do it again until you press the button again. And then there's this here, use skill. It's a bit like on item right click, only um, it runs when you use a skill. And here you have access to the game instance, so you can do anything with the player, you can do anything with the world. You know, if I wanted to hurt the player, I could do entity player. Dot, I don't know. Let's see what that what there is. Oh, I know, I know what, what there is. Yeah, this for example, you know, heal or whatever, you, you can just, you know, do whatever you want. This skill, Creeper Blast, just creates an explosion around the player, pretty much. So it's as simple as it gets. And then you finish by returning either skill used or skill not used. This is to check that it, if it did get used or not. If, for example, say you had a skill that could either be used or not used, for example, this here, skill stun shot. It does get used if you have an arrow in your inventory. It does not get used if you don't. So that's why that's why you need to return that. Right. Um, so once that's done, you do the same thing you do with an item. You can change its icon if you like using the mod loader uh, method add override. And whatever else you want to do. You know, that's all there is to it. Okay, now the skills themselves. So how would they show up? Now there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, the first being, of course, well, what I did here is I made a, an item called a skill book, and for this item, in the method on item right click, I called a method, a static method called learn skill. Now you can call this from absolutely anywhere, either learn skill or spawn skill. Spawn skill spawns like an item on the floor only it's a skill. And learn skill skips that entire part and just makes the player learn the skill, whatever it may be. And yeah, so in this case I made this item when I right click it, teach me the skill creeper blast. And uh, you can put this anywhere, you can put this, I mean say say I wanted to, when I killed uh, I don't know, say I killed a creeper and I want it to, d to drop Creeper Blast as a skill at some point or something. Where is Creeper? There it is. Then I'd go to the method, let's find it, on on death. See, there it is. And you can see what the, the Creeper drops. And, you know, I could just put, th put that in here. I could put mod skills and then learn skill, whatever, or in this case it would be wiser to put spawn skill. And as you can tell, you can make it spawn when you break a block, you can make it spawn when you kill an entity, or add an entity or whatever, or at any position you'd like. It doesn't matter. You can just do this anywhere. And you can make, you can call this from literally anywhere once again, and even say, for example, the player jumped five million times 
and when he did, I wanted wanted this here just to the player to learn this skill, for example. And I could do that using this stat file thing, however you do that. Or say I made a skill that teaches a player how to shoot webs, which you can now because not at webs. Then maybe I put it in the on death method of a spider, for example, you know, be creative. Okay. Okay, now the skills themselves can do anything. And if you look at this, see, all I did is create an explosion, but you know, the possibilities are endless. You can do anything from drop items or heal health to build a house around the player, you know. So let's take a quick look, to see how it is. Right. So the item I made was crafted like this. It's not actually part of the mod, but it's just to to, to show my point, you know. And when I right click this, oh wait. I already know it. You can't you can't learn a skill you already know, so I'm just gonna get rid of that real quick. If I if I collide with that again though I'll, I'll relearn it so you know teach it someone else and I learned a new skill these are the hot ski hot keys for the skills um, I can access this inventory by pressing K and I can do any of these by pressing their respective buttons so say I pressed let's say I wanted to test out creeper blast when I press it there's a a charge up timer. Let's, let's explore in the water. And it takes a while. Explode and your energy goes to zero because it uses ten energy. Or no wait, twenty energy. And then as you can if you look carefully you'll see on the on this here that there is um a cooldown timer on it. So I can't if I press if I keep pressing, it won't do anything until that cooldown timer is gone. Yeah. And same goes for other skills, depending on whether or not you set down, you set cooldown timer. So, for stun shot, you now let's make this guy angry. Huh? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> let's go to the pig. Say I wanted to use stun shot. Stun shot uses an arrow from your inventory, and when I use it, the pig can't move for a while. It's hard to see now, but it works. And yeah, and then it cools down. And I can't use it again. When it once it does, I press, and I can use it. Um, yeah. What else is there? There's super jump, the first one in there. And when I press B, it's a bit of a high jump, but you know. And I can't. Well, I can use it again because the cooldown is really fast. And then there's Summon Wolf, which takes ages, but in the end, you know, it is quite an imbalanced skill, so. Eventually, there's your wolf. And the last one is Levitate. The thing about Levitate is it's a press and hold skill, so you need to press the key and keep holding. The only difference between that and, and, all, and all the other classes is... Uh, where do I declare it anyway? There it is. See, it, there's no charge up, there's no cooldown, and it's press and hold. It would be a bit stupid to put a charge up and cooldown timer on a press and hold skill. But, yeah. You know what, let's play around a bit with this. Let's make this 2D. That is quite a lot, but, you know, just for fun. Oh, wrong world. <laughs> okay, but sa same thing though. I press and I levitate. Okay, 2D is a bit extreme, to be honest. Yeah. Where's that? Thing? Oh, there it is. This isn't part of the mod. <laughs> Well, you get the point. I'm just gonna die here. 
And that's all there is to it. Feel free to create your own skills. And if you have an idea for a skill but don't know how to code it, you can tell me and I'll try to code it for you. And yeah, see you guys next time.